barbershop conversation, guys. Feel free to hit the subscribe button. So I'm up early this morning. I got to pick up some windows for one of my units. But I am so motherfucking hype, man. Hey, hey, I was, I, hey, this is one of the, sometimes I don't get a chance to, uh, I'm not excited to read all the comments. I've been reading all y'all comments. What Biggie song should he come out? And you know what the funniest shit is? The reason why? Because it feels good. Reminded me about Biggie, man. Like all his songs that th that he came out with, and uh, it feels absolutely am amazing listening. Like uh, I was uh, on Spotify, and I was going through the songs that you guys suggested. What songs should should Danny Jacobs come out with? What Biggie song should he come out with? I'm gonna be so disappointed if he don't come out the Biggie. But anyways, I'm still rooting for the dude. So anyways, man, and and. And I find it so ironic that 10, not 10 out of 10, but let's say 8 out of 10 Mexicans, when he's fighting, when a Mexican is fighting a non-Mexican, they say, who do you think I'm going for? You know, I I train in a Mexican gym, boxing gym for that matter. And uh, it, it it goes without, um, without question. You know, rooting for Canelo, Chavez, this generation you were born rooting for Canelo. Last generation you were born rooting for Chavez. You know what I mean? And that's just the reality of it, you know? And very seldom do we get the great Mexican fighter in the same class with the great black fighter that makes for a great fight. You know, we're fortunate enough to get uh, Mayweather and that she male and we got, uh, we, got Ch we got Chavez and Whitaker, you know, but very seldom does that happen. You know what I mean? And um, but I'm real fortunate that I'm unapologetic about who I'm rooting for, and I don't mind when Mexicans root for Mexicans. I don't, I, I never heard of a Russian going for Andre Ward. I've never, I've never heard of that ever in my life. So uh, I know there's a, probably a handful out there, but at the end of the day, 95% of Russians are going to are, are going to go for the Russian, and it. it it's funny how you're considered a, a pure boxing fan if you're Mexican, if you're from your country and you're rooting for your countrymen, right? When uh, Khan fights, or better yet, when uh, a UK fighter comes over here, like Frampton just came over here, they play the drums, they go crazy. Who are you rooting for? Where are you from, UK? Oh, I'm rooting for Frampton. Oh, amazing. Oh, oh, that's pretty dope. Uh, yeah, you're a real boxing fan. You came all the way over here to to root for Frampton. You're amazing. That's dope, right? If a black person leaves Compton, goes to Vegas and roots for Andre Ward, he's a racist, right? <laughs> I do a video on it, right? <laughs> oh, man, that is hilarious. So anyways, man, uh, barbershop conversations, man. I'm going to love this fight. Uh, you know why I'm going to love this fight if Jacob Swim Because he's truly 100% the underdog, right? Truly 100% the underdog And uh, we haven't been in these fights in a, in a long time where There's a chance he can win And not only a chance If he comes out and box him and he's fearless It's going to be a pretty easy fight For Daniel Jacobs And that's real because of the talents he possessed in the ring And if he doesn't It's going to be a pretty easy fight for Triple G And those are facts So anyways, barbershop conversation Let's get it cracking Take your son, your daughter to go play soccer, softball, t-ball. Do what you got to do. Settle in around 6 because the undercard is is actually really good. Uh, K2 Promotions did a hell of a job. You know, they just did a, a poor job promoting this thing. You, you know what I'm saying? They didn't hit all demographics. They tried, but uh, uh, they should have had... Well, they got quadros, but uh, they didn't promote it as well as they should. Hopefully they get... I want them to do good numbers. You know what I mean? I'm not... I, I'm not, yeah, I'm, I, I want them to win. So K2 does good. Tom Walker is cool. He's hot and cold with me, but he's cool. You know what I mean? Uh, so anyways, barbershop conversation, guys. Feel free to hit the subscribe button. Where Brooklyn at? Where Brooklyn at? Maybe you should come out with that. That was on the mixtape. Remember when he was live on stage? If you guys ain't got the best of Biggie, you guys got to go get the best of Biggie. Your CD man has, I'm not sure if it's on Spotify or iTunes or something like that. I am uncertain of that. But the best of Biggie is fucking amazing. Maybe you come out to where, Brook, where Brooklyn at. Where Brooklyn at. All right, man. I'll holler. I'm gone. Peace.